And new details and another big vote on Capitol Hill. D.C.'s mayor is now banned from being on the U.S. House floor. It's one of several changes Republicans made in their new House rules package that was passed tonight. D.C. News Now's Daniel Hamburg has followed all of the day's developments and joins us live from the U.S. Capitol to explain. And Daniel, leaders were weighing in on this change even before the vote was final. Can you talk to us about how it's going to affect the local government in D.C.? Well, Tasmin, Democrats are calling this a punishing move directed at the mayor, but Mayor Muriel Bowser says this won't affect her much in her day-to-day -day activities. I think it sounds like some petty thing that was developed in the rules, and I don't laugh it off, however, because it shows how petty some people will be. Monday, Mayor Muriel Bowser reacted to the rules change, barring her from the U.S. House floor. It also takes away privileges for governors of U.S. territories like Puerto Rico. The rules continue to grant governors and 16 other categories of people, including foreign ministers, floor privileges. All but one House Republican voted 220 to 213 to pass the new House rules package where this change was made. Despite calling the move petty, Bowser says she hasn't used the privilege in her eight years in office. I didn't think it would be effective. Um, my strategies with um, the members of the Congress have been to deal with them on very specific issues uh, and to uh, try to win their support. But still, Virginia Congresswoman Abigail Spanberger says it could create challenges. It seems like a punitive effort, uh, certainly our ability to engage directly with the mayor of Washington, D.C., or the governors of various different territories is important to our ability to do our jobs. D.C. Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes Norton is again pushing for independence from federal oversight on local laws. Congress has undemocratic plenary authority over D.C. and regularly uses its authority to legislate on local matters. While D.C. deserves statehood, if any non-member of Congress deserves the needs and needs for privileges, it is D.C.'s mayor. Now, a bigger concern for local Democrats is the influence that the right-wing House Freedom Caucus has and if its members will work to restrict D.C. laws or take away funding. We're live on Capitol Hill. Daniel Hamburg, D.C. News Now.